What's going on everyone? So today we're going to start prepping and possibly priming in this video of the grill and the front bumper of the truck. So, well, basically have a color match grill and front bumper and get rid of that chrome because it's going on three years since I bought that truck and uh, well, getting tired of the chrome. But here we have the platinum grill that I purchased and these pieces right here, I think I'm going to want to do them in a, like a gloss black, but let me know down below what you guys think I should do, because I don't know if I should leave these like this, knowing I'm getting rid of all the chrome and silver on the truck at some point, or do these color match or do, do them gloss black. I'm still going to end up priming it, so it's either color match these or gloss black it. For sure, I'm going to color match this. First thing we got to do is take this all apart and these will be separated from the black piece and then we're going to try and get the black piece separated from the main grill as well so let me go ahead and do that it looks like we just got to be very careful and pull these tabs back and the black piece will separate from everything so i'm going to get a little pick here and just gently pry it all back and try and get it and try and get it to release without breaking anything too much so let me go ahead and do that So the trick with this is to kind of keep down pressure on the side. So start at one end, pull the tabs in, and keep down pressure so it doesn't come back up on you and re-click itself. And this we're just going to set aside because this I'm not going to worry about painting or anything like that. And well, it's going to be black behind it, so it's fine. Alright, next thing is to remove the emblem. And then we can sand everything down, get it all prepped. I'm going to wet sand at 600 grit, and then once it's all prepped, I'm going to wet sand the bumper. And uh, yeah. Alright, so I got everything sanded up. I'm about to do... One last wipe down, and then, then I'm gonna primer these pieces and the grill here. Got my primer all set up, it's a four to one. Got it from Sherman Williams Automotive Paint. And yes, this is a backyard paint job, so it's not gonna be anything pretty up close and personal, but there's gonna be a lot of sanding in between coats. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up, paint it, and if I can set up my camera somewhere, I will. Otherwise, I don't want like paint getting on the camera, but I'm gonna paint this up, at least prime it, the bumper I'm not going to prime because while the bumper is already black, it's primed and I wet sanded it and for the blue paint I do want a dark base coat before the paint goes on so it's not going to be seen through. So I'm just going to paint right over this but I'm also going to paint the back side. But first I'm going to prime these pieces because they do need to get primed and then I'm going to do a coat of black black primer over it right before the base coat and then I'll do everything base coat. So, primer, and in no way is this like a tutorial of how to paint, this is just me showing you guys what I'm doing to get this painted up so my truck has color match grill and bumper. primer on these two pieces and the grill surround and 
so far I don't see any runs. I'm sure I'm once they dry a little bit more I'm gonna move them inside the garage to dry the rest of the way. The reason I'm painting out here is because well I don't want overspray inside the garage. But when I go to do the actual base coat and then clear coat I'm gonna set up a canopy out here for the bumper and the grill pieces to spray inside of so this way it, it's less contamination for the actual base coat. But this has to dry for a few hours. It's pretty high humidity here in Illinois. Well, not that high, but high enough where it's got to dry for a few hours before I'm going to go ahead and wet sand it. And then once I wet sand it and then clear, and wipe it all down, tack cloth it, wax and grease, remove it one last time, then I can do the base coat on this guy and the bumper. But otherwise, let me know, guys, what you think I should do with these guys, the two inserts that go in the middle. Should I do them? the blue jean metallic to match the truck or should I do them gloss black because I think I'm going to do them gloss black because I kind of want to make my handles black because it would match like the gloss toolbox and wheels I don't know what I'm going to do for wheels at some point I'm thinking gray wheels but I don't know let me know guys what you think I should do with the grill inserts I don't know if I'm going to decide before or after or by the time this video comes out, but I probably will have it posted on Instagram and see what people say on there. But otherwise, that's it for this video. We got these pieces all sanded up and primed. Same thing with the bumper. That's all sanded. And once this is dried, wet sand it one last time. I got something in my shoe. And then go ahead and do base and clear, and that's going to be another video. So, so if you want to stay tuned for that, be sure to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. And as always, guys, I will catch you later. Bye.